There was once the world's worst barber. Shave for you, sir? Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm you do that. You spit my bloody throat! How the hell do this? You thing? idiot! You idiot! You look quite good with the scars. It's just you, sir. Right, that's enough of that. <laughs> and it got on for so long that in the end a royal inquiry was held and it was agreed the barber must resign. And he went before his wife and he said, Well, are you going to make me resign from the Guild of Barbers and everything? Oh, I'm not surprised. You're so useless, aren't you? You're just useless. Well, it's not useless. They're just not very good. Oh, absolutely hopeless. How many people have you nearly killed by trying to cut their throats instead of shaving? Well, how many people have we seen? Uh, oh, no. <laughs> Most of them. Listen, I'm not starving to death just because you're an idiot. You've got to go and beg. I'm not just going to well, starve. Where did I beg from? Well, try the king. He's known to be quite munificent. All right. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, all right. Okay, I'll oh. try the king. And so the barber, who was, went before the king and he said to the king, so your majesty, your majesty, I'm yes. a barber, but you've made me not a barber. Oh, yes, you're the idiot barber. Yes, the one that cuts well, people's throats. Can, can you give me something? Something? What do you mean, something? Well, I, I, no, something. Yeah, I'll be told fine, I'll ask you for something. Well, most people are a bit more specific. What do you want, man? Something. Oh, Anything. Anything? Anything. Oh, well, in that case, I grant you a piece of waste ground not far from the public latrines just outside the city. Thank you, Your Majesty. Uh, you're quite welcome, be off. <laughs> and it was true. The wife had thought that if the king gave them anything, it would be of value. I got us a bit of land down by the piss wire. Oh no, <laughs> I was going to say to you, give me whatever it is, not go and sell it and get some food. But it's all right, you said it's bramble now. Oh no, let's go and have a look at it. We'd better add, I suppose land's land. Ooh. What is this here? Look, it's all just bramble. I think it's a lap green. A nettle, yeah, it stinks as well, that too. But it's just rubbish. Look at it, it's all molehills and anthills. Well, you can dig that. Oh, I don't think we can do anything with this. Oh, no, what are we going to do? I don't know. It's your idea. I'll ask the king for something. Oh, shut up and let me think. Um, I know. There's no way we can dig that, not by ourselves, and not in a month of Mondays either. It'd have to be a whole whole load of people, a whole team of people, and they'd have to be really keen as well. I know. Well, I'm, I'm not right. asking my relatives to have money. Will you belt up? Really? No, the thing is, the thing is, to get people interested and wondering what we're doing, I tell you what. Well, they all come to law. Oh, for heaven's sake. Yeah, there are people around. That's good enough. I tell you what, you and I, we're going to pay something down that land. And we're going to do it for at least two days, wandering around, looking as if we're looking for something. Looking as if it's important. What are we looking for? That's the whole point. Looking as if it's important. But, here's the catch. Whenever they come along, right, and, and look as if they want to know what's going on, that's when we pretend nothing's happening and we just sit down and pretend nothing's happening. So nothing's happening, but we're looking as if something is happening unless they're looking at us. That'll pique their interest, you numbskull. All oh, right, I'm with that. Yes, let's do it. So the next... Nothing's goes. happening here, move on. Oh, I'm looking for something. No, I don't agree! Oh, nothing, 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 no, nothing. I, I ain't doing nothing, no. Oh. Oh! No! Oh, you idiot. And as luck would have it, there were. There was five lads over there, I saw them, watching us, wondering what we were doing. Wondering, keeping on wondering. And at last, I was hoping this would happen, at last, one of them couldn't resist it. They packed off the youngest and he came up to me and he said, What are you looking for? Nothing! We've been watching you. Nothing! Nothing no, at all! No, you're not looking for nothing. That idiot boy keeps on going up and down saying there's nothing happening. Uh, yeah, no, I know. It's my husband. He is a bit of an idiot. Yeah, he once gave me a shave I still got the scars. Oh, don't remind me. Just don't. What are you looking for? <laughs> oh, well, you really want me to tell you. It's only hearsay, mind. Well, I can say it here. Uh, you promise you won't tell anyone, though? Do I look like anyone who would tell anyone? Well, I suppose you might have a trustworthy face. Um, well, the thing is, legend has it. It's only family legend-like, you know. It's not, probably not real, but 
legend has it that my, my great granddad buried five pots of gold in this earth. But I mean, I mean, I've just been trying to do a bit of amateur metal detecting. You know, somebody taught me a bit. You of... need some experts to do that, my dear. Well, I. Right, and with that, I and my husband went home. Well, the next morning we went there, and would you believe it? It's all dug! Who's been a digging this? It looks like there's been five men working all night looking for buried treasure here. Do you know, I think that's exactly what's been happening. Oh, look, it looks like it's been ploughed five times well, over. How are we going to do now, though? Oh, I know, we can't afford anything. Well, I know, tell you what, there was a lad I knew before I met you, before we got married. What? No, something you should be telling me. No, no, I didn't that way. I just mean he was a friend of mine. He'll lend us some seeds. Well, you'll go and get them. Well, I will do. I'll push off you, honestly. So I went to my friend and I asked him to lend me some seeds on the grounds that if there was a bumper harvest, he'd get some of the profit. Well, of course, he did lend them to me. Here you are. And in no time at all, we started to grow the sticking. Oh, that my bad. We planted the seeds. There's so much of it. And there was a bumper harvest. I just think it's because the ground hasn't been sown in a long time. An absolute. And the looters could fertilise it. Bumper things. harvest. Well, with that, well, we even had a little pot of gold left over. But it wasn't long, of course, before the thieves heard about it. Those five lads, well, they looked like thieves anyway. Here, yeah, woman. You've got something to give us, haven't you? I only said, I didn't tell you, I didn't tell you there were five pots of gold under there. Ah, but you've got a pot of gold, haven't you? Ah, uh, but it wasn't my grandfather's, though. I only said that... I know, but it won't be you. We'll visit. It'll be your husband. <sighs> oh. Well, I'm not giving you it, and that's final. It's my gold. My, where is it? Mine and my husband's gold. Just tell us where the pot is. <laughs> It's under the sweet beans. Under the sweet beans downstairs, but you'll not get it. You'll not get it. So it was then that I thought, they'll be coming back this evening. I know it. I think I'm stupid enough to leave it there. But that evening, well, I made sure that underneath the sweet beans, well, there was a whole load of nothing but the sweet beans themselves. Well, they weren't sweet beans. Let's just put it like that. So when my husband and I went to bed, I knew they'd be creeping down in the house and breaking in and going there. Oh, here it is, under the cupboard. Yes, there's a lot of little things here. They look like sweet meats. Yes. Yes, well, I've got to be polite to them, I think. <sighs> they taste a bit funny, a bit tinny, a bit meaty. <sighs> but she's a little sweet meat. Here's the pot. We've got it! Well, of course, there was just stones in the pot and the sweet beets, I'm sorry to say, were um, stuff like awful and that. They weren't best pleased. Ah, ugh, ugh, we ate pancreas! Ugh, it'll wobble inside us! Ugh. I swear I can hear it yell. Ah, ah. The pot's got my we're going to get there this time. I knew they'd be back. I knew this time we'll have her! They'd be back. Oh, so I said to my husband, right. You're going to help me get this hornet's nest and stick it at the top of this tree. All right. How? Well, carefully, that's how. Oh. With a rope, that's right, what. Right, use the nest and I'll help me. Oh, no, you don't. Oh. Get off. Oh. Ah. oh. Oh. Thank goodness, they seem to be asleep. They won't be for long, though. They won't be for long. They've been moved. Oh, Lord. Right. So this time... This time I've hidden it at the top of the tree. I know they're out there listening. What? Are you saying me that? Like? She's a bit dead. I said we've hid it at the top of that tree. Oh, Should that's we... a good place. No, Rob, I are not there. No, certainly not. <laughs> well, then it was just a matter of waiting then, wasn't it? It's on the top of the tree, we heard. Yes. In a pot on the top of the tree. Up we go. Come on, up we go. Quick, grab the pot. Ah! Well, in no time they got stung. First the first one, then the second one. Ow! 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 <laughs> oh, what a Ow! Hell. What a hullabaloo. They all fell out. They all fell down. What my Ow, God. I we don't it to stay. With the hornet's nest on the top. And after that, you know, I heard they actually had to go to hospital. So I did. I hope you're proud of yourself. Ow! I didn't hear from 
them for, well, days turn into we'll weeks. We'll get her though. And the weeks turn into a month. And we'll then I thought, her. I thought we might be safe. We know where she lives. We know where she sleeps. But of course. Don't think we're going to forget this. I underestimated them. So it was, they caught me napping quite literally. It was night time and I heard, I heard somebody climbing up the drain pipe. I heard someone at the window. Uh oh. There she is. Oh no! Give me a razor, I said to my husband. His cutthroat razor that he nearly killed so many people with. And chop! I took the tip of his nose off. Well, that was the first one. Oh, but it wasn't Can wrong. you lie on the floor? I'll get the sense. And the second one came up. Oh no, here they come again! Oh, oh that was no. the second one. Oh, oh, they were making such a fuss. I nearly felt guilty, but they were right after me. And then the third one came up. Oh, until it was number ten. And then it was only the captain left. And he was down there and he wasn't having any of it. But they said, let's just carry the bed off and all. Oh, no. The captain said, I'm not having my nose in peril. We'll run in there. We'll get her. We'll get the bed. We'll take her to Elsewhere'sville. So they broke down the door and they picked up the bed. trees like lions. And my husband had rolled out off the bed and onto the floor and banged his head so he was unconscious and couldn't help and there was I being carried through the forest on the Where the low trees are. Oh, but happily the trees were a bit low and one particular branch looked quite friendly and really grabbable and I saw it coming and I grabbed it and I just kicked my quilt a bit as I went up to make sure it looked as if somebody might still be sleeping there and there I was. There I was up there, and then they went on further, and I saw them walk on. Oh, but now we're off, said all the other, but all the other thieves without their noses. We're off. We're going to go off to the doctor to get our noses. Oh, we haven't got our noses. Oh, well, they're going to go and get some wax on the nose. Well, they were bleeding so badly they had to go and get themselves bound. Well, the captain, who was the one who hadn't had his nose cut off, because he was there down there last. Well, I mean, the forest is meant to be haunted. And he wasn't going to catch the It's meant to be a beautiful woman here by himself and how a ghost, they say. And there was a legend of a white lady, so I wrapped the sheet around me and I started singing. I'm quite a good singer. La, 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 oh, la, la, that sounds like the legend of the white lady. She is one day going to fall in love with a particularly handsome cat. <laughs> what do you think? My dear, my dear, I am here. Do you fancy marrying me, my dear? Mortals lie. I am true as the driven sun. <laughs> oh, I bet. Oh, dear God, he's so vain. I am as handsome as the moon daisy. Well, you'll have to climb up here, and so I can tell you that you're not fibbing, I'll have to have a look at your nose, because if you're liable to fibbing, your nose will grow longer, and I'll be able to tell. Nose to nose, it still be good. Oh, yes. And he fell off the tree. Well, with that, I shinned down the tree and I ran off home. Oh, dear. And I thought, well, they're going to be really angry now. I better go straight to the king. And I went to the king and I told him all about it. My dear, that is the finest story I have ever heard. Your and husband is an idiot. And here's, Can you prove it? Here's the box full of noses, ends of noses. Look, well, you'll, you'll, find you a, you'll find 11 men with half a nose. You'll never know. Well, they will know them, won't they? Yes. They'll know who they are. Majesty, we will. But don't let them get me, please. Do no, I'm going to have you in the uh, palace. You seem too dangerous to leave outside. <laughs> and I better make your husband a barber. Who's a barber? Well, all, all I've heard of him. I'll make him a counsellor. Yeah, well, he needs to be a useless job like that. And um, <laughs> as long as he's got you to guide him, though, I think he will do fairly well. Oh, thank you, Your Majesty. <laughs> So we lived in a palace, and I advised the king, although in name it had to be my husband, of course. And we lived happily ever after. <laughs>